Conflict is natural. Different personalities, communication styles, or a lack of appreciation of different perspectives can all result in tension. If not managed properly, this can cause disruptive behaviours and lead to potentially preventable issues. Our beliefs, how we see the world around us, and the assumptions that we make can all affect our communication and the level of conflict that we and others experience. Let's explore how we can test our assumptions to get better outcomes. You're working on a project and need help and information from Mary, so you send her an email. When she doesn't respond, you leave her a voicemail, or two, or three. You remember the last time that you worked together with Mary, and that you clashed. So you conclude that she is avoiding your communications. As the days roll by, you convince yourself that Mary is trying to sabotage you. In fact, as you recall, she never liked you. Soon, you start looking for examples of how she's trying to make you look bad, and you decide that you can't stand her either. The next time that you see Mary, you blank her, and soon other teammates notice that the communication has completely broken down between you. Wait a minute, let's climb down that ladder. It's really important to take a step back and ask yourself some questions about how we got here. A great starting point is to ask, what's the story that I'm telling myself? What was the observable data? Do we agree on it? What assumptions did I make? What conclusions did I draw? And how did that influence my actions? We must check these and invite others to test them too. By reflecting, we can become more aware of our own thinking and reasoning. By explaining, we can make our thinking more visible to others and test our assumptions and conclusions. And through respectful inquiry and non-judgmental questions, Mary, I notice you haven't returned my emails. We can gain insight into others' thought processes. The challenge for coaching is how we surface the differences in our thinking in a way that allows productive discussion and dialogue. The ladder of inference helps us understand how we can lead ourselves into making assumptions and more importantly how we can come back down and get to the real meaning of what's going on.